In the deserts of the American Southwest, rock and sand are converted into a convection oven by the blazing sun. In this seemingly inhospitable environment, plants and animals have developed an incredible collection of adaptations that allow them to survive in this unforgiving landscape. Hi everyone, I'm Noel Poller, AP Biology teacher and author of the Lab Hamster Storylines. This video will explore the chemical reactions used by rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats to digest their food, build essential molecules, and survive in the harsh desert. In this video, you will learn about two types of chemical reactions that are critical for the survival of these amazing rodents. Hydrolysis reactions that break apart large macromolecules and dehydration synthesis reactions that assemble larger molecules from smaller building blocks. The chemical reactions of metabolism involve biological macromolecules, large molecules which include carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. To stay healthy and maintain homeostasis, rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats rely on two types of reactions. Hydrolysis reactions use water to break large polymer molecules into smaller molecules called monomers. Dehydration synthesis reactions build new macromolecules, polymers like starch, proteins, or DNA, by linking smaller building blocks called monomers into long chains or branched structures. Dehydration synthesis reactions form water as a byproduct of the polymerization process. Let's take a closer look at how hydrolysis works. Rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats are granivores. That means that their diet consists mostly of seeds which contain carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. During the process of digestion, enzymes allow water molecules to react with a polymer like starch, a common carbohydrate found in seeds. The water molecule helps break a bond between two monomers. This happens as the water forms a hydrogen ion that bonds with one monomer while also forming a hydroxide ion that bonds with the other monomer. As this process continues, large starch polymers are broken down into simple carbohydrates like glucose that can be used during the reactions of cellular respiration. And that process releases energy stored in carbohydrates to power cell activities. Now let's consider the reverse process, dehydration synthesis. This process allows two monomers to bond together. As multiple monomers are joined together, a polymer is formed. As a new bond forms between the monomers, a hydrogen ion is removed from one monomer, while a hydroxide ion is removed from the other monomer. The formation of each new bond also results in the formation of a water molecule as the hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions join together to form a molecule of HOH, or H2O. <laughs> Macromolecules are critical molecules of cells and life processes. Understanding how they are formed and broken down allows us to better understand how animals like rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats are able to survive in such a harsh environment. Hydrolysis breaks down food molecules, providing energy and nutrients the rodents need to carry out important life processes like maintaining their body temperature. Dehydration synthesis reactions build new macromolecules by linking smaller building blocks called monomers into long chains or branched structures. The fact that rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats can survive and thrive in the desert is a testament to how essential the chemistry of life is for all living things. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you're ready to learn more about the macromolecules which are critical for life, you should check out this video right here.